everybody. Thanks for tuning in again to another episode of Strike 3 Fishing. Today we're back on Mark Twain Lake. It's March the 12th. Um, it's cold. It's maybe 25 degrees right now. Uh, we got snow as you can tell in the background there. You know we just had about three inches the other day. So uh, anyway I'm just out trying to catch a few crappie. I'm trying to stay on top of these fish just you know as they, as they start moving. So uh, so let's go see if we can't catch a few crappie here on Mark Twain Lake. Well, we're just out checking uh, some things out today. Pretty much what we're doing. Uh, I'm on a side image. A few brush piles that I got marked and see if there's any fish on them. And if there is, we'll live scope them. See if we can't pull a few up. So uh, I'll bring you guys along as we, uh, we get that done. You know, uh, I just found some on this brush pile that I know that's here. And I'll just kind of show you the piles here right there you know well, there's probably going to be a few fish there's a couple here scattered but uh and there's some over here and it with live scope and then see if there's any fish buried in there but i think there's there's a few fish scattered up in this brush pile so let's see what we can get done Nice crappie right there. I saw him come right up there and get it. Beautiful crappie. Uh, you know, he was in down there about 18 foot. Come straight up. He got the old jig head and the, he got the old Bobby Garland monkey milk jig right there in the pill head. So nice fish. Might put a couple in there for some pictures and then uh, we're going to release them here later in the day. Well, there's another crappie off this brush pile that we just had. We said it was a little, but uh, they're down there. Another nice fat crappie right there. Beautiful crappie. We're gonna, you know, maybe keep a couple decent ones for pictures, but uh, uh, we're gonna throw it back. Nice fish. Now I had the camera off. Didn't turn it back on to that last fish, but uh, caught this one. Nice crappie there. Let's see if we can get a couple pictures. Now I caught a couple on that white, uh, on that chartreuse head, and it kind of was coming up looking at it, so I switched to this uh, ruby red pill head by Thumper Jigs again. You know, I switched this. Uh, Orange and chartreuse slab slayer to Bobby Garland and uh, dropped down there and caught that one. Another nice crappie right there. It's a 
some good eater crappie. There's a bunch of them down there. Now they're just stacked up in there. Nice crappie right there. That fish come up off the bottom. This brush pile that's out here, it's in about uh, 12, 13 foot of water. He come up, I had the jig at about uh, eight or nine foot. He come up in that 11, 12 foot range and smoked it. So Nice fish. We're gonna put a couple of these in the live well, like I said, for a couple pictures later and then we're gonna release them all. You know, I switched to this uh, ruby red eight ounce pill head from Thumper Jigs a while ago, like I said. Uh, you know, I was using that uh, chartreuse pill head, eight ounce with a, uh, a white uh, Bobby Garland and Baby Shad. You know, I caught two or three. You know, I just switched to this, uh, you know, ruby red pill head by Thumper Jigs, and I'm getting a few more bites with that orange and chartreuse body. So, this is one of my favorite colors in the uh, early springtime right here on Mark Twain Lake. So let's go get another one. Wow, there's a pig crappie right here. That's the biggest one of the day. Got that old ruby red pill head choked. Beautiful fish. I saw that fish come right up. Like I said, I'm in that 12, 13 foot water range on this brush pile that we just side imaged. And this nice big crappie come up and smoked it. So that's the biggest one of the day. Uh, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put him in the box and uh, get a couple pictures later. Here we go. And there's another nice slab crappie here at Mark Twain Lake. That's a fat one there. Beautiful put him in a box we'll get some pictures so anyway that's a nice crappie and a nice fat crappie right there that's pretty good fish here came off we're gonna catch a release anyway. I'm gonna show you all what I'm looking at on this live scope. So you guys can see this. Right there. All them fish down there. Big old pile right there. Just sitting down in there. Anyway, some of them are wanting to bite, some of them aren't. So anyway, we found a nice little pile, so let's get back at it and see if we can catch a few more. Well, another beautiful crappie. It's a good solid eater, 10 incher. Come right up there out of that brush pile and smoked it.
another one. Beautiful crappie. Fun crappie to catch early, early March. So get out here if you can and catch a crappie because if you can find them, they're going to eat. Another good eater crappie. We're going to head on. We're going to side image some more uh, spots. See if we can find some more brush piles. Side image them again, just like we did this one, and uh, see if we can catch a few more fish. All right, everybody. I just uh, left, and I'm scanning some more. And, and here's a brush pile right here, and it's got a few fish around it. You guys can see that, so. Anyway, I'm going to drop the live scope and uh, see if I can get these fish to bite. Right there, there's another one, right here on this brush pile, and uh, just a good eater. We're going to measure him, I don't know how big he is. About a nine inch fish, we might end up keeping a few today. I want to throw him in the box anyway. There's another one off this brush pile. Nice eater fish. Not bad. You know, there's a bunch down here. I might end up keeping a few for uh, dinner tonight. So. small one on this brush pile. Just a bunch of good eaters on here. I don't think I'm going to keep any more, actually. So uh, we're going to start throwing them back. Just a good eater fish right there. Good nine, nine and a half inch fish on this pile anyway. So I'm gonna show you guys what I'm looking at. Just you know we just seen it on side imaging and uh, I'm just gonna show you let's get back over on it here what I found here. Here's what I found right there. So there's fish all over that. But they just seem to be good eater fish, so, uh, you know, they're fun to catch. Another nice eater.
right there. I tell you what, nice crappie. We're going to end the show on that one. So uh, get your side imaging out, utilize it, find your brush piles, your down imaging, and then uh, if you got a live scope, scan them, drop down on them, and catch them. So, you know, great day out here. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I love bringing it to you. Smash that subscribe button. Hit that bell, get notified when I got new content out if you like this content. You know, I got my Gorilla Grip cold weather gloves on today. It's like 25 degrees out here right now. It's a little breezy, but, uh, you know, I'm catching a few crappies. So, hope you guys enjoyed it. We'll see you on the next one.